Hi folks, uh, thought while I'm uh, not building that much right now due to health reasons, uh, I'd make myself somewhat useful and just give you a uh, what's in the box. And I uh, picked up the uh, Ford Raptor. It's about a, up to about 2014, I believe. Um, 2013, maybe. Uh, they've changed the grill a little bit in the last uh, year or two. So it represents about a 2013 or so Raptor. Snap together kit from, uh, snap tight kit from uh, Ravel. There's the box art. Uh, and instruction sheet, and we've got stickers for snap tight rather than decals. And as we dig deeper into the box, we've got um, a few baggies. We've got a little baggie of nice uh, aggressive tires. Uh, we got a molded. Everything's totally molded in uh, chassis, as you know. As you know, it's a snap tight. So eh, a little bit of chrome. So we've got you know some grill backing, some uh, mirrors, wheels, you know, a couple little things, exhaust tips. And there's a body. There's a tinted rear glass in there as well, which I'll show you a little bit. And a bag of other parts, which is going to be interior and things like that. Okay, there's the body taken out, so it's an extended cab with a short box, as the Raptor is. As I said, the uh, tinted rear glass, so it's the rear glass and the uh, the rear uh, little extra cab area, so they're tinted. And underneath all this clear uh, is the clear windshield, uh, underneath the clear baggie. And, and we've got red stuff for taillights. Kind of neat. And here's the chassis pin again. All molded in your exhaust, your spare tire, everything, your frame. It's all molded in. It's a snapper. No big deal. Now, uh, there's your chrome tree, so the uh, the grill, the shifter, the exhaust tips. I like that they uh, molded the wheels in chrome. That way you can use chrome if you like. Or you can strip them and paint them some other color. That's probably what I'm going to do. Not sure yet. We'll see. Uh, we've got uh, some street rubber. Uh, it's not an off-road vehicle. It, it's a street vehicle. And there are no markings, as Ravel doesn't do anymore. They don't license any uh, tires. So there's no markings as I mean, Goodyear or Bridgestone or whatever they are. But it's a uh, street rubber. So again, you go to the parts bin if you want and put something more aggressive on it if you like, whatever. And uh, metal axles. And the other bag of assorted stuff. We get our seats. Um, a three-way uh, or a three-seater for the uh, the back for the extended cab part. A couple buckets for the front. Um, door skins, inside door panels. Yeah, steering wheel and stuff. And it's funny that they give you brakes and brake rotors, but you really can't. You can sort of see through the uh, through the wheels. Uh, there's some you know holes in the wheels that you can see through, but I don't know why they bother. But that's fine. Whatever. Maybe you can use it for something else that shows uh, bigger spokes through or whatever. Um, and inner tailgate, back bumper. Uh, there's the center part of your grill it goes uh, inside that chrome part a couple of uh, louver pieces for your hood which as you can see on the body they drop in there on the body and we'll go back over here some running board stuff so uh, all in all it's actually kind of a neat kit uh, again for a snap got it for eleven dollars at the the detroit motor city madness so can't go long for eleven bucks eleven twelve bucks you know it, it's a nice um, it's a nice piece. It'd be a quick build. Um, again, disappointed with stickers rather than uh, decals, but um, hopefully they'll stick a little better. I, I may scan them and actually make decals out of them. We'll see uh, if I'm going to do that or not. Um, so that's the uh, that's the Reville Ford Raptor. Um, while I'm on the disabled list here a little bit, I can do a few things, so maybe I can slam this thing together pretty quickly until um, I can get back to detailing stuff. There's your Raptor. Talk to you later, folks. Okay, here's the body um, mounted together, just snapped together for now. Uh, working on the mold lines, any, any little things that need to be sanded out. There's, uh, you know, the typical places around the taillights, around the... Uh, the headlights, uh, the fascia, um, you know, top uh, where the fender uh, goes from horizontal to vertical, you know, typical mold lines. So, I, I'm just, I, I'm wondering 
how or if somebody would even be doing maybe a resin conversion to make this thing into more of a stock uh, Ford F-150. Um, I, it looks like it's a lot of work, but uh, it would be nice to have a stock F-150 uh, of this era, or even newer. Um, and it's not in the cards right now, uh, but um, I don't know how much conversion is needed. But uh, anyway, this will be nice. Uh, and as for the chrome wheels I, I discussed a few minutes ago, they're already in the strip tank because I'm, you know what, it's a truck. I don't like chrome on a truck. So um, chrome wheels will get stripped. The uh, exhaust tip will get stripped. The only thing that will stay chrome, I think, is just where the headlights, um, there's a grill piece that goes in there, and you know, for the headlight reflection, um, so they look a little more like headlights. I'll be uh, leaving that, but uh, I gotta get rid of the chrome. I'm not a, not a guy for chrome boats. That's all.